my channel. By the way, I am Hazel and I'm just starting my YouTube career. So, so um, yung mga past videos ko are vlogs from our Philadelphia and New York trip. And um, a bit of shop with me, Tita Edition. So, if you're interested in makita yung mga videos, na yun, ililib ko yung links in the description box. And yung video today is a very different one from din sa mga previously na upload ko. Kasi, ayun, sit down video siya na Tita Edition din. <laughs> Kasi yung mga gantong topics, medyo adulting na yung, yung mga gantong topics. Eh. So, yeah, kung interested kayong malaman kung magkano ba yung cost of living dito sa US, then please keep on watching. I've been here in the US for more than a year. So, bali, konti pa lang experiences ko. Yung mga cost na babanggitin ko sa inyo are personal, meaning pwede siyang magbago depende sa isang tao, kung saan state siya nakatira or titira, and kung ano yung lifestyle ng tao na yun. So, first one is yung housing, rent or apartment. So, eto, sobrang magbabago siya depende kung saan state ka or kung saan city ka. So, for example, in my case, nandito ako sa New Jersey area, so which is a suburb or suburban community or state. So, medyo, um, ano ba yung suburb? Parang medyo probinsya feels. So, ganun yung mga, yung New Jersey. So, yung standard ko or yung masashare ko sa inyo is based dito sa New Jersey area. Since, hindi ko pa naman na-try sa ibang states, yung range ng apartment or rent dito is from 1,300 to 1,500 for a one bedroom apartment. So yung apartment is actually mas malaki pa nga tong apartment na to <laughs> dun sa bahay namin sa Pilipinas. Yung rent is very dependent kung nasang lugar ka. So this one, yung community ko is in a suburb and yun nga, yun yung range niya. Pero kapag punta, pumunta ka sa New York or sa San Francisco for example, sobrang taas nung rent doon. As in, siguro doble or triple nung rent dito sa New Jersey. So, it really depends kung saan kang state or city um, titira or ayun, nakatira. So, depend. This one is nice apartment. Maganda yung community. Nitiran ko. Malapit siya sa everything. Sa mall, sa Costco, sa ShopRite. Everything's accessible. So, apartment is 1,300 to 1,500 a month. So, that's um... Magkano ba yun? So, that's 65 to 75K per month. Kung i-convert natin sa Philippine Peso. So, so di ba? 65, 75K a month. <laughs> Actually, yung expenses ko is yung pinakamalaking part doon is yung rent or apartment. So, kung mag-isa ka, pwede ka naman mag-rent ng 1,300 to 1,500 na yun. Pero kung nagtitipid ka, you can kumanap ka ng mga roommates. Pwede na naman yun. So, maghati kayo dun sa expense. So, again, depende yun sa preference nyo, sa sa lifestyle nyo. Second one, second one. <laughs> so, second is utilities. So, including utilities are um, gas, electricity, water, and internet. So, yung, 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 yung. so, number two are utilities. So, gas, electricity, water, and internet. Sinama ko na internet sa utilities. So, that will cost you approximately 200 bucks per month. 200 bucks, yes. Yeah. So that's um, siguro 10,000 pesos a month. So, yeah, and depending rin to kung anong season. Kasi nga, halimbawa, for summer, need mo ng aircon. So, and for winter naman, need mo ng heater. So, medyo tumataas yung consumption mo on those um, seasons. Aircon for summer and then heater for winter. So, ayan, depende pa to, yung 200 bucks, depende pa to sa kung anong season. And so, syempre, yung usage nyo. So, but more or less, 200 bucks per month. Yung third is transportation. So, for suburb na katulad nitong New Jersey, actually, yung mga tao, preferred nila magkaroon ng car. Kasi nga, meron namang bus and um, trains, pero hindi siya convenient or hindi siya ganun ka-structured katulad kapag sa nasa city ka. Katulad sa New York, pwede ka lang mag-train kahit saan ka pumunta or mag-bus which is more convenient and, and more affordable compared kapag ka mag-rent ka ng car. But for this, for suburb like New Jersey, 
parang necessity siya yung car. So car co will cost you 500 to 600 per month. So yes, that's another makano ba yung 500? Um, 25 25k to 35k a month. So that's for the car. Pwede ka rin naman mag ano mag train or mag bus. Yun nga lang, hindi siya very convenient kasi scheduled lang yung mga trains and bus dito. Hindi siya nagro-run every minute or every 5 minutes, 10 minutes, something like that. Or pwede ka rin mag-Uber, but Uber will cost you $8 to $10 one way. So, for example, kung halimbawa ako, mag-office ako, papasok ko sa office, it will cost me $8 one way. So, pa-uwi, $8 naman. So, that's $16 to $20 per day. And then, for, for a month, so magkano yun? Kung one day, $20, and 20 days, so that's $400. So, ganun din. ba? So, ayun. Eh, hindi lang naman yung office yung pinupuntahan ko. Meron pang iba. So, pwede din mag-Uber. So, may yun yung mga choices niya. Pero, mostly, mga tao dito, kumukuha sila ng cars kasi nga mas convenient. And, yeah, mas convenient lang talaga may cars. So, that's $600. $500 to $600 per month. And then, yung next one is yung mga needs mo, necessities mo sa bahay, like groceries, mga pagkain, and everything. So, for me, nagpe-prepare ako ng sarili kong food. So, yun na spend ko sa grocery items per week is $50. So, that kung may 4 weeks, I, I will spend $200 per month. So, if nagpe-prepare ka ng food mo, lunch and dinner na yun sa akin. So, kung hindi naman, pwede ka naman bumili dito sa mga fast food chain. Makakabili ka actually ng 2 to 3 dollars na burger sa McDo. Pero, kung hindi mo naman pwedeng kainin yun everyday, lunch and dinner. Kasi, that's very unhealthy. And, ayun. Pero, meron din naman mga meals. Like, meron dito ang mga rice meal. Since rice is life. Rice is life. <laughs> so, meron dito ang um, 7 to 10 dollars per meal. So, imagine 7 to 10, siguro 10 dollars na lang. 10 dollars for lunch and dinner, that's 20 dollars. For a week, that's 100 dollars. And then, for a week, uh, or for a month, that's 400 dollars. For the food. I choose to prepare my own meal para healthier yung options ko. And medyo nakakatipid. So, 200 na prepared na ako yung prepare ng meal versus 400 na mag-dine out or lunch out ako. So, that's $200 difference. So, ayun. Pero, depending nga sa inyo, kung ayaw na prepare ng food, then pwede naman kayo mag-spend ng $400 a month. But for me, I spent $200 for the food and for the grocery items or yung mga need ko sa pang-araw-araw. Mga personal stuff na need ko. Phone bills. So, yung line, for example, yung mga line actually cost you, will cost you 50 to $100. Depende rin sa kung anong line mo. Kung unlimited internet ba yan or anything. So, that's 50 to $100. The rent, that's $15. For the utilities, $200, $17 na agad. For the transportation, you have $600 kung kukuha ka ng car. So, that's magkano na? $17. Two, three. So, food, siguro sabihin ko ng 200 kung ako yung nagpe-prepare ng food. So, that's 2-5 na agad. And then, yung mga extra bills pa. So, siguro sabihin natin 100 yung mga extra curricular activities. So, that's $2,600. So, sa Philippine peso, magkano yun? Um, 2-5. One hundred twenty-five thousand pesos. One hundred twenty-five thousand pesos. <laughs> yes, one hundred twenty-five thousand pesos. You need mo sa US para mag survive. Actually, marami pa. Depending nga sa lifestyle nyo. And then, actually, hindi pa dito kasama yung mga health insurance. And so hindi ko na siya sinama yung rent, yung utilities, yung car or transportation, and yung mga grocery, food, and etc. So that's to $2,500, $2,500, or almost 125,000 pesos. Yun yung cost of living dito sa US 
di naman siya generally, pero yun nga, depende sa kung anong state mo and kung ano yung lifestyle mo. Pero more or less, yun. Yun yung, mag, yung need mo to survive here in the US. So, yeah. I think you got an idea kung magkano yung cost of living dito sa US. Medyo mahal siya compared sa Philippines. Sobra, ba At uh, yung 125,000 pesos ko, ang layo na nang mararating sa Pilipinas. Pero dito, yun lang yung need ko to survive a month dito sa US. And I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please click thumbs up, like this video, and subscribe to my channel. And yeah, see you again in my next video. Bye!